Welcome, Scorpio, to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition bringing messages from spirit. This reading is general, and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you are wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to you all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Scorpio, let's go ahead and take a look. Spirit, can you please reveal to me what does Scorpio need to know in regards to their love interest? Who is the person that is coming towards Scorpios in love? What is currently uh, their energy overall and what is their energy towards you? Please reveal to me the energy of this person that is uh, connected to my Scorpios in love. Thank you, Spirit. Wow. So I see here a past life relationship. You have known each other before. And then we have a soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, but it's reverse. So maybe you have past karma with this particular person. Um, also, I see here an engagement and it's reverse. Wow, there's a wedding card under here. Um, your love life is ascending to a high level commitment. I feel like you guys are not really engaged. Maybe this person is married. Um, you have known this person in a past life. Okay. Um, you know, what I'm feeling is that, you know, maybe this isn't your soulmate. Maybe it's your twin flame. Okay. That's what I'm feeling. And you guys are not together. That's what I'm getting now towards you. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and letting go of control issues. Um, I really feel that this particular person is very stubborn and um, they have to control situations. Also, um, I see here keep an open mind, but it's reverse. So this person is really closed off in this connection. Okay, but you have known this person before. So let's say that you know someone Scorpio and you had some sort of romantic uh, situation, okay, in this lifetime. And, uh, you know, maybe the love was unrequited. Maybe uh, it was one-sided. Perhaps this person is married. Okay, maybe it's you that's married. Take as it resonates. But I really feel that right now, overall, if they're in a marriage, I feel like they're getting a divorce. Uh, with their uh, soulmate, okay? So someone that um, maybe they're completing a karmic situationship with. That's what I'm saying. And um, this person is 100%, you know, I mean, nobody's perfect, guys, right? I mean, there isn't anybody perfect. But I really see that, you know, they still have like this control factor about themselves. It's kind of like they're aware of the highway uh, type energy, that's what I'm seeing here so far. So I really feel like maybe a person's closed off. Maybe it's because they're in the middle of getting a divorce. That's the feeling that I'm getting. Let's see. Let's clarify. You know, I, I can really feel like your person isn't happy right now. So Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the energy of this person that is connected to Scorpios and love? What is going on with the subconscious? And what is their subconscious energy towards you? What do we need to know about Scorpio's love interest? Please clarify past life relationship. Yeah, 
said, this is divine time. So I really feel like this is a spiritual connection. I really feel like it's your twin flame, you know, especially if they're in a marriage. Okay. They're actually getting out of a soulmate uh, partnership. I guess that's what that is. Anything else spirit that wants to come through for the person connected to Scorpio in love? What else is going through? What's going on with them at this time? Wow. So they really feel like they can have a fresh new start or really pursue their dreams because of this soulmate. Okay, but I really feel like they're taking action. And I really feel like it's uh, to get out of a, a relationship with this karmic. Um, yeah, they have a hard time of letting them go. So maybe their divorce isn't finalized yet. Maybe they're waiting. Okay, uh, that, that's just one aspect that I'm seeing here. Um, let's see, just one more card. That's too much. Just one more message, please, Spirit. Yeah, there's a blockage. There's a blockage because maybe this person is still married. Like, I mean, they could be in separation. Okay, but still, it's a blockage because um, I really feel like this karmic is still attached to this person. That's why they have some sort of karmic situation. Um, yeah, and they can't really ascend. So let's see. Spirit, what is this person's energy towards Scorpio? You know, they're going through an awakening and they really don't know what to do, okay? They really feel like they have to be in control. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. They're really close-minded right now. You know, and it's possible because they're still dealing with the karmic, okay? Is there anything else? Yeah, and there's something that they're not seeing because um, maybe they didn't receive... Uh, the message, okay, this could be spiritually, this could be physically, um, let's see, just one more message, please, spirit, in regards to this person's subconscious towards Capricorn, I mean, Capricorn, Scorpio, sorry, <sighs> what is the energy, please, spirit, did I say Capricorn earlier, I meant Scorpio, yeah, this person is really thinking, okay, um, it's really hard for them to open up towards you. I really feel like that's a blockage. And I see that the barrier is this karmic. Okay. Or, or this is the karmic. Take as it resonates. Okay. So let's see. What is their energy towards you at this time? Spirit, can you please reveal to me? What is the energy of the person connected to Scorpio at this time? What is this person's energy? Please, Spirit. How do you guys currently think and feel? What is it that you guys want and what is the outcome? What is the energy, please, Spirit, of Scorpio and their love interest? And what is the connective energy between these two? Thank you. Well, so we have here the magician, and I really feel like your person is trying to fix something, okay? They're not really happy, but I see that they're working on it, you know? Um, there's something that, that came to them as a shock, and the thing is, is that, uh, you know, maybe your person is really hold back. <clears throat> maybe it's because they're coming from a place of lack. Um, they act as if, you know, they don't have time for you, Scorpio. That's what I'm feeling, and... I see that they're just really focused on what whatever makes them happy, okay? But there's still something missing about this individual. And um, what I'm saying is that um, they're trying to heal over a situation. Um, they're still, like, going through some sort of grieving, right? But I really feel like they've already grieved for whatever the grieving situation is. It could be about the karmic. It could be about you. It could be life in general. But it feels as if this person is on the mend, Okay, and they're willing to take a chance. And I feel like this person, okay, is coming back. Um, you could actually um, hear from this person by August, and that's for some. And for others, it could be four days or four weeks. Uh, I'm also getting um, that your person recognizes that whatever happened in the past was the past. There's nothing that they can do about it. But what they're focused on is the here and now. And 
also, I really feel that maybe they're freeing themselves. Okay, I see here nine of pentacles. So maybe they're independent. Maybe um, they're trying to be single. Um, I definitely do see that. Maybe they are single. You know, for some, they're actually in uh, like a, I want to say a legal separation from uh, their karmic partner. Okay, and that is if your person is in some sort of marriage. Um, I see that they're they're moving forward. Okay, so, um, you know. It, it took a little patience from this person to get things in order from what I can hear. And what I'm seeing is that, you know, this third party was dragging them behind. Okay. But they're trying to push through it. And I see that um, maybe in the past two years, this person was trying to figure out which direction that they should go. And they are deciding to, I don't know. I really feel like this is your energy. Now I really, uh, and sensing that maybe this person is uh, like maybe there's a change of career maybe there's a business opportunity and because of that business situation like a business trip or whatnot um you guys can can really get together uh i'm also getting that maybe you guys are meeting each other at some sort of conference Okay, and that's for some, that's not everyone. Um, but I'm really getting business uh, business trip vibes or, you know, going on a vacation. You guys have the ability to connect like a networking event, right? But I really feel like for some, this is like someone was working and then they're having a little leisure time. So it's not all about work. That's what I'm feeling because uh, this person is going to be traveling very soon. And uh, maybe the person that you're connected to travels a lot because um, I see that they're either riding the metro or, um, yeah, you know, maybe I'm not saying the bus, but uh, I mean, it could be I'm feeling metro vibes and also plane. OK, uh, also, they're doing a lot of, you know, um, transportation like car travel. Now, this uh person is very passionate towards you i mean they may invite you out for a drink and say hey i'm here in town uh i was thinking about you know let's meet up and let's talk about business right oh no i'm getting that you know maybe they want to talk about work you know maybe they have a business proposition for you um and that's for some but i really feel you guys are work workmates um i don't know that's for some um but you know i think this is after hours right <laughs> so Again, this whole thing about business and pleasure, hmm, interesting. Now, I see that they really want to offer you an abundance, okay? And I really feel like this is everything that they put their hard efforts into. It took a long time for them to be in the position that they're in, but I really feel like they want to open up and share it with you. And um, also, I see that they're just waiting for the right time. So, um you know, they went through some sort of financial struggle. And this could be about the situation done with a karmic partner. Let's say that your person was in a marriage. Um, and, you know, they kind of feel left out. You know, they don't know what to do. And I feel like um, because of that reason, they're kind of like partially blocking their heart, not really fully expressing their feelings. And I see the eight of pentacles. So the whole situation of possibly meeting with you in secret, uh, it's not really working out. I really feel like for some of my Scorpios, okay, you've been uh, secretly meeting this person like in a hotel. Again, I'm getting business trip vibes. So somebody here must be going some, <laughs> what kind of business y'all be running? <laughs> Scorpio wants to know. <laughs> you know, it's work and pleasure, right? <laughs> anyway, y'all are acting like you're incognito and um, like there's nothing going on between the two of you. Like it's all, you know, work as usual. But yeah, there's something going on be beneath uh, the scenes over here. Okay, you guys are portraying like um, you guys are not into each other, but you really are. Okay. Um, also, you could be done with the Capricorn. And like I said, I, I, I saw a Capricorn earlier. So, you know, your person is trying to let go of their toxic behaviors. Maybe this is a sense of attachment for I can feel. And um, maybe in a couple of months, I feel that uh, you guys are going to be working. Again, this is like a, a partnership, a work contract, you know, hmm, very interesting. You know, they're getting out of a marriage. 
within four days to four weeks. So that's why um, the timing, they're going to be able to work on things with you in two months. So I don't know, and these are for some of you. If you feel like you have a person that is in some sort of commitment, I really feel like they're going through like a legal separation and they're finally getting a divorce. Um, they're just waiting. It's a waiting game. It's going to happen between four days to four weeks. Okay. I definitely feel it. And within two months, I see that um, you guys are going to be traveling with one another. Okay. I don't know. That must be for somebody. Um, yeah. You could be done with an aqua. Okay. Regardless of the sign, I really feel that, you know, I don't know. There's something positive. Okay. There's something positive. And again, I feel like it's a work situation. You know, this person isn't happy, but I feel that um, you could be done with a fire sign because I saw the fire sign show up in here multiple times. Um, they're very passionate towards you. I really feel that um, they're coming in with transparency and uh, wow. They might tell you that there's a divorce, like it's settled. Um, so be on the lookout, Scorpio. If you feel like your person is in some sort of marriage, it's, it's a wrap. Okay, I really feel like they're already in some sort of separation. And um, the divorce is going to be finalized soon. Okay, I definitely am feeling that. And I really feel like you guys have some sort of business contract or you guys work with one another in that kind of a way. So let's see. Look at this. So uh, your person isn't really talking to you, okay? Mom's a word, right? And for you, okay, you keep reflecting on the past. Now, for the both of you, uh, maybe it's because of a karmic situation. The karmic is actually getting in the way um, between the two of you. So that's why your person isn't really talking to you, okay? Um, that's what I am feeling. So um, right now, okay, they are feeling that they're conflicted. Um, they're, they're kind of like feeling down, you know, maybe, uh, things are kind of difficult for your person. Like, you know, maybe they're going through a divorce. Maybe they're going through financial struggles. Maybe there's a change in their job, but I definitely see that there's something positive going on with their financial, uh, situation. I really feel like it's going to be successful. It's just right now things are looking a little bleak, right? Um, but with you, okay, I see that you, I mean, you're not really communicating to this person also, and both of you guys are really feeling conflicted. You know, maybe there's more than one person in the situation, you know, on both sides, you know, um, that is interfering in the connection between the two of you. Now, what is it that you guys want? Your person really wants to take the time out to really see things, okay? So um, I really feel like they need time alone, but that doesn't mean that they're, they're be alone and looking for other prospects. Uh, I really feel like it's because they're getting out of the situation with the karmic but there's a lot of things that are going on of with them financially with their um you know career uh their marriage and things like that so you know they kind of need time now for you i see that you're trying to make a decision again i don't know why i'm getting a capricorn but i see a capricorn in here again um but you know i really feel you keep looking back at the capricorn capricorn isn't really telling you much or maybe it's the truth you don't know uh, but what I'm saying is that you have a decision here to make. Okay. I really feel like you're still looking at this past person. Okay. I really do. Um, you really want to move forward, but I don't see you moving forward. You keep looking back at this person now in the outcome. Okay. Uh, for you, you know, that things aren't over. Okay. And for your person, they're actually holding themselves back. Now for the both of you, both of you guys can't really work on the situation right now. You know, so it's like the timing isn't right you know, check, check back in like <laughs> four days and like maybe next week or, or a month, you know, up until two months, because that's when uh, the energy shows. But I really feel like the reason is because there is a karmic situation, but I feel like it's more so on your person's side. Okay. Like they're, they're going through a lot of changes, like, you know, divorce, uh, their career, like a job change, you know, things like that. Yeah, they're keeping things a secret, and I see that for you. For you. Um, you just feel you can't really invest into your time into the situation because there's a, a period of stagnancy here. 
uh, you could be done with your twin flame for some. And I see that <laughs> maybe you're going to take the initiative to open yourself up and, you know, confess your feelings towards this person, Scorpio. And this person, they're looking at their options, okay? And, like, they're riding the wave, okay? And I really see that this person really wants to communicate to you about what their next steps would be. And I see that you want to communicate to them how you've been feeling, okay? And this person feels, wow, within two months, guys, okay? Two months? I really feel like you guys are going to have, like, a relationship with somebody. This is temperance. This is my twin flame card. Again, um, maybe uh, there's travel plans are being delayed. And because, like, you guys, um, for Scorpio, if you didn't go on that, that, uh, that trip or whatnot, that actually brought you guys together. Like something happened, like somebody had to cancel a, a trip. There was a flight, okay, and or something like that. You know, um, the other thing I'm also getting is that, you know, you're not feeling really good about whatever third party situation is, but you've been really patient. And I see that uh, this person really wants to offer you something. You know, it's coming very soon. And for some, you could be dealing with a Sag. That's why I have guys. So let's see. You know, overall, that's actually kind of positive, <laughs> considering everyone else is reading, right? Uh, Cancer had a somewhat uh, positive read. There's definitely a reconciliation coming for, for Cancer. So if you have Cancer in your chart, um, you can go ahead and watch that one. But so far, Scorpio, okay, there is somebody... Okay, I mean, this could be a brand new person and they're going through this and you don't know them, but you're going to meet them some way, somehow. Um, I really feel like you guys are not really together, you know, by distance. Um, I don't know. That's what I'm feeling. Let's see. cheating my person made me cut you off i got caught damn see what i say in the very beginning i saw that there was a karmic situation right with the wedding card yeah so if your person was married uh they got caught by the karmic like maybe this person was caught looking at your pictures or maybe uh, you had some secret text messages but they got caught right and like i had to sacrifice too much and i'm not ready to let go of what i'll lose to be with you don't take it personal so maybe this person okay i really feel like they're going through some sort of situation and i feel like it's financial like i said the timing isn't right but just know that okay your person will eventually come through there's like this final hurdle that your person is going through uh, in order to release and let go of the situation so that they can open up uh, with you in the right way. So let's go ahead and see what is the guidance. Spirit, what is the guidance that you have for Scorpio? What is the guidance? Donna, high priestess, you have divine knowledge and can help others through your spiritual teaching. <laughs> I mean, you're a Scorpio anyways, right? I mean, you guys are psychic and you have like this level of awareness. You have di divine knowledge that you can help others like through your spiritual awareness. And that's all it takes. I really feel like, you know, just give it some time. This person's going through a situation. It's not time yet to be with this one, but I really feel like within two months, okay? I, I really feel very strongly that if you have your eye on someone, okay? Like you guys are gonna meet. You guys aren't really together, okay? And I, I really feel like you guys will actually have like some sort of relationship by this summer. And if you're in the land down under this winter, okay. <laughs> so I really hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. And uh, the full moon is coming up. And so I have here my lovely spiritual bath goodies. So these are my bath bombs. This is my bath uh, body polish. Also, I have some hand lotion up here. And you could uh, find all of these uh, beautiful bathing 
Saving Goodies over at smibeautyandbath.com. It's a brand new website. And if you guys would like to make a purchase, you can get a 20% off coupon. All you have to do is just sign up for my newsletter and the newsletter will pop up on the home page. Or if you scroll down to the very bottom, you can just enter in your email um, and make sure you confirm uh, the subscription to my newsletter and uh, you should uh, receive a 20% discount um, through your email. Okay, and so after you received uh, your your purchases and you've tested out, um, you know, the bathing goodies uh, and you really enjoy it, go ahead and go back to my website and write a review. And at that point, I will actually send you a 30% coupon on your next order. So that way you get to save and it kind of offsets uh, the cost for shipping. And so I really hope that you enjoyed uh, the reading today. I really hope that it was helpful. Thank you again. And I will see you next time. Bye bye. <music>